This is Denver Police Department case number 2017-212-564, which is the active homicide investigation of Henry Wagner, which occurred on April the 1st, 2017. Mr. Wagner was shot several times. He was transported to Denver Health Medical Center, but unfortunately could not be saved. He was my husband, you know, and uh, he meant a lot to me. At 9.21 p.m. April the 1st, 2017, Denver 911 received several calls from residents in the area of 6th and Olive reporting hearing shots. I ran to the back of the house to get my cell phone, called 911, and that's when it all began. Denver 911, what is the address of your emergency? Yes, I'm not sure. I just heard some shots or something. I don't know if my husband wanted to turn off his truck and he's still out there. Somebody shot my husband, I think. Sorry. Yeah, and I don't know if he's dead or what out there, but the police. Oh, they're working on him, Lord Jesus. Okay. Oh, Lord, Lord. Oh, God, don't let him be dead. When the first patrol officer arrived from 6th Avenue, he was traveling north down Olive. There were several cars in the driveway, including one that was running. As the officer continued north, he was able to see into the side yard and found Mr. Wagner down right about where this basketball hoop lays now. During the investigation, we determined that the suspects most likely fled to the southwest through the Wagner's backyard and out towards 6th Avenue. When I got to the hospital, my son was there, and uh, at some point, two people came in and, and uh, told me that Henry's wounds were not survivable. It still feels um, a little unreal, even though it's been a year, you know, because you can't imagine something like that. Uh, somebody, you're talking to them one second, and the next second, um, they're gone, you know? I can't even describe uh, what is done, you know. I mean, you hear about it on the news every day. You hear about people getting killed. But when it actually touches you, it's a whole different thing. Mr. Wagner was known as an active member of his church. He was known to be very generous. We have not found anyone who counted themselves as his enemy. And at this point, a year into it, we are without a suspect and we are asking for the public's help. We believe that there are people in the community that know who shot Mr. Wagner. I would like for the person to um, pay the consequences of their actions. Um, you know, it's, it's senseless. It's senseless. We're asking anybody that has information about who killed Henry Wagner on April 1st, 2017 to call Crime Stoppers. Sometimes it's those small details that really are very meaningful to these investigations. Nobody deserves to die that way. Nobody deserves someone else to take their life from them. That's not their job to, to, to end someone's life. Regardless, regardless. And so, you know, I would like justice. Thank <laughs> you.